Of the estimated 272 million international migrants in the world, nearly half are living outside of Europe and North America. Migrants fleeing economic hardship or violence are entitled to a range of protections and rights under domestic and international law, yet they are often denied such protections in practice. In an era of mass migration and restrictive responses, migrant acceptance is often conditional on the expectation that they contribute economically to the host country while remaining politically and socially invisible. These unwritten expectations, which Jeffrey D. Pugh calls the invisibility bargain, produce a precarious status in which migrants' visible differences or overt political demands on the state may be met with hostile backlash from the host society. In this context, governance networks of state and non-state actors form an institutional web that can provide indirect access to rights, resources, and protection, but simultaneously help migrants avoid negative backlash against visible political activism. I'm Jeff Pugh, a professor at UMass Boston, and my new book, The Invisibility Bargain, Governance Networks and Migrant Human Security, published by Oxford University Press, seeks to understand how migrants negotiate their place in receiving societies and adapt innovative strategies to integrate, participate, and access protection. Specifically, I examine Ecuador, the largest recipient of refugees in Latin America over the past two decades, and I assess how it achieved migrant human security gains despite weak state presence in peripheral areas outside of the capital cities. Um, I draw on evidence from 15 months of field work that I did spanning 10 years in Ecuador including 170 interviews, an original survey of Colombian migrants in six provinces, network analysis and discourse analysis of hundreds of presidential speeches and news media articles. I argue that places with more dense networks composed of more diverse actors tend to produce greater human security for migrants and their neighbors. The book challenges the conventional understanding of migration and security, providing a new approach to the negotiation of authority between state and society. By examining the informal pathways to human security, I show the connections between international and national politics, and I unpack the micropolitics of institutional innovation. The Invisibility Bargain is the winner of the Arthur P. Whitaker Prize for Best Book from the Middle Atlantic Council of Latin American Studies. Elizabeth Cohen of Syracuse University says, The Invisibility Bargain is absolutely critical research for anyone working in contemporary migration studies. Gioconda Herrera, president of the Latin American Studies Association and professor at Flaxo Ecuador, calls it the most comprehensive analysis of Colombian forced migration in Ecuador to date. Lauren Landau of Oxford University says, this text is destined to become a reference for discussions of governance and mobility for years to come. The Invisibility Bargain is available at bookstores or directly from Oxford University Press, and you can learn more online at invisibilitybargain.com. We invite you to check it out.